let me actually get the phone in the shot here. So this is Galaxy. Let me rotate into landscape too. Yeah. Hate vertical video and look at me pushing vertical video. So this is the Droid 4 and I'm actually making this video for my eBay listing for it, which I will put in the description below. But it is running Sailfish OS and Android 4.4. I need to install Android 4.4 to the other ROM slot, but it is running Sailfish OS 2.1.3.7, which actually hasn't been publicly released. I'm surprised. Hi. Oh, sorry, I keep badgering the developer to update his thread, but he won't. Anyway, let me just clear these out. Just... Alright, I need to stop trying to do stuff through the camera. So, um, quick overview just to make sure, show you that everything's working. And I will confirm this is mine because the same keys are missing paint. And yes, I did put Sharpie over them. The A, M, N, and H keys, which you'll see have Sharpie on them. Um, can't really tell. So... I actually, in a recent video, I, so apparently Bluetooth does not work. Um, I turned it on and I was really surprised. So I go to settings and again, sorry for the shaky camera work. This is like a theme on my channel, shitty shaky camera work. So I went to settings and uh, I went to Bluetooth and you're about to hear my speakers yell in Asian accent, Chinese accent probably. Heavy Chinese accent, Jesus Christ. Enter to Bluetooth. There we go. Bluetooth connected. So I did connect to these speakers on here, which is just so interesting because the developer was like, oh, Bluetooth is broken. It's not. I was able to pair with my speakers. And maybe it is. Maybe this is just this one device works because it doesn't generate a Bluetooth MAC address. Um, why is it not rotating? What's going on here? Let's see. All right, there we go. So let me do this one, and I don't know, I'll put on, uh, let's see, here we go. So they are playing, which is really great. Um, surprised by that. So you'll notice no sounds actually coming from the phone itself. Turn it up. Um, yeah, so sound is going through the speakers. So yeah, that's that's really cool that Bluetooth works. So that means there are only two problems with this, because there is Alien Dalvik. For anyone who's considered, who's like, oh my god, what about app support, self show us, blah. Um, Alien Dalvik, so you can install Android apps, and I will walk you through that if I can't figure out a way to have that pre-installed. Um, let's see. Should be able to close that. Um, so there are only two problems, and one of which I am going to try to fix. So first of all, the keyboard backlight will not turn on. I don't know what it is. I applied the patch, and I'm going to look into that. Maybe get a fresh install set up. You know, I need to wipe this anyway. Still got all my old shit on it. Um, so let's leave this one problem. Battery reads. So it only reads in 10% increments. So what that means is, so it'll sit at 60%, and then it'll hit 50%, then 40%, then 30%. And then when it gets to, like, below 20, it'll start reading in 5% increments. So it's like... 20%, 15%, 10%, 5%, and then it's dead. And how it works, it's not at 60-something right now. It hits, um, once it hits 60, the battery's like, oh, oh, shit, I need to do my job, I need to read. I need to say what I'm at. So to say, all right, I'm at 60%, and then it doesn't read until it hits 50%. So really, it's at 50-something right now, probably in the high 50s. And I gotta say, the battery life, and it is Sailfish OS, so the battery life is a lot better. Um, I should turn off Alien Dalvik, though, because that does noticeably kind of drain the battery. Not a lot, though. You could leave Alien Dalvik all day if you wanted. And you could probably use it just fine. But, um... But, um, but... It's really, um... The, the battery life is really good. It lasted me a full day. I'd get home from school and be about, like, I don't know, 50... 40 or 50 percent for me. And it's kind of playing... That's playing Cave Story on it all day. Just throughout the day, checking it here and there, checking the time, looking at my schedule because I still don't know my schedule. And then uh, wallpapers are nice. There are a lot of there are a lot of default wallpapers. Blue is not a default wallpaper. I added that. Um, the display is nice, very good. The backlight bleed you're seeing here, I don't know why it shows that. It's not like it doesn't actually show that. It's something with old LCD devices or like old LCD displays. Like if you record at the slightest angle, it's like oh my god, the colors wash out. And I'm not going to lie, the viewing angles on this device, like if I tilt it like this from my view, yeah, it's going to wash out. It's, it's not like a 2018 flagship, it's going to wash out. 
but I mean straight on, which is how people usually view their phone. I never really got the whole viewing angles thing. I guess if you're showing multiple people video, but at that point, it's not like they mind. Look head on, it's pretty good. My only gripe: these buttons here not functional at all because Sailfish OS is gesture based. So if I open settings here, I just swipe from the edge. I'm home, and I have you can and you can edit the gestures. So if I open gestures here, I have quick events access. Boom right there. Swipe here. Boom right there. The top bar you can go through the whole OS without ever using the top bar. So which is great for if you just want to use it like this at the bottom. So you're not doing this like thumb stretch. Even on small displays, it's annoying. And then of course there's the weather right there in the events. Um, the default apps are good. The camera, I will say, sometimes when you're taking a long videos, like if you get to the two minute mark, it might like freeze for a second, but it'll it'll unfreeze itself. So if you plan on taking 10 minute videos, just kind of keep that in mind. I think it still records audio though when it freezes. Pictures work totally fine. So just take a picture of my desk there. Oh, that's that's weird. Yeah, so camera is a bit weird. And again, I'm gonna have Android 4.4 for those who just want stable, they don't wanna mess around. And the developer is still working on this. So it's not like, you know, there's no love on it. So this is weird, I don't know why it's not working. But that's all right. Sometimes you just have to reboot and the boot time is, yeah. you can think, why is it taking so long? Um, I might say about 30, 40 seconds to boot up. That's just my estimate. So um, Verizon branding there, which I don't like. Verizon branding on the back. And then if you pop this cover off, I'll show you what's on the inside. There is an SD card slot, which is currently empty and a SIM slot which is currently empty. And I'm gonna stop rubbing the display on my Ikea desk. Put that door back on. But yeah, there's a SIM slot and a micro SD card slot and a good battery slot on this device. The camera itself takes pretty good pictures when it works. Uh, I'm so sorry about that, that it was not working. One thing that you will notice, so this is a bug. So if you use the actual camera shortcut, it will lock up. So if you try to take a picture from the camera shortcut, it won't work. Oh wait, no, it, it just worked. Okay, that's weird. Inconsistent, I say with the camera. Um, it works most times in my experience. I used this for about three weeks while I was waiting for my Photon Q to get here, which that's my Photon Q. Basically the same device except, you know, everything works. And the display is really yellow, which I enjoy, but a lot of people don't. It's easier on the eyes. This one, the colors are actually pretty good. So this, um, what you're seeing right now, let me turn the, there we go. So what you're seeing right now is pretty true to life. What the screen actually looks like. It's kind of off, like no video is going to be perfect in that regard, but let me try to get different wallpapers. So here's the flow one. This is kind of cool. This is the new wallpaper in 2.1.3.7. It's a mouthful. I know. Um, again, I don't have a SIM installed, but it works fine out of the box. Bluetooth apparently works over audio, but it doesn't have a Bluetooth Mac address. Keep that in mind. So it might not connect with some stuff. So, yeah, Wi-Fi works. The only problems are the battery read, 10% increments, and the keyboard. Bluetooth canceled. Jesus Christ, because I turned off Bluetooth. Really loud speakers. I really, I wish I knew how to turn that voice off, that horrible Chinese voice. The Enter aux in playing. Right. I just plugged in my aux cord or headphone jack cord. Yeah, keyboard backlight doesn't turn on, which I'm kind of looking to fixing. If I do, I'll definitely update the description of this video and my eBay ad with how to fix that and how I fixed it. Um, some other guy had a patch. It's not like I'm a genius and I'm fixing all this shit myself. No, 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 no. I didn't even make this. I The only one I'm working on is for the Nexus 10. That is my work. But this right here is not my work. This is some other guy's work that I am selling for profit. Um, that's interesting. But the browser works. So if I look something up... Um, Let's, I don't know what, what tab I had open last. Probably nothing gross. I doubt it. I didn't really use this phone for that. Uh, there you go. So, yeah, so browser works totally fine. Let me just, I was having problems with my wireless keyboard and mouse on Windows 10. So, yeah, so, yeah, there's a site loading. Browser works. And if you need any confirmation of anything else working, I'll just start up an alien Dalva cap just so you know the work. I mean, they're installed. 
that should be evidence enough. And it's going to take a while because I, you know, I turned off Alien Dalvik. So when I open an Android app, it has to turn on Alien Dalvik and then start the app. So if Alien Dalvik is on by default, the apps will open much faster. And I'll actually open another app just so you can see that. But here's Spotify taking a while to open because, again, it has to start up Alien Dalvik and then it has to start up the actual app. So that'll take a bit. So it closed off, and there you go. Boom. So we have the Android Spotify now. And just to confirm that it does indeed work, here's Heartbeat by Childish Gambino on the speaker. There we go. Cool. So I guess not only doubling as an eBay video for me personally selling this device, but for anyone who's like, oh, I should get a Droid 4. Um, I should get a Droid 4 and run sale for show us on it. Yeah, you know, I recommend if you have 100 bucks to burn, and I mean 100 bucks US. I'm selling it for 80 Australian because mine isn't. It's got some scratches on the edge there. Keyboard is missing some paint. That tack hole for removing the back cover, which you don't need. You can just remove it by force. I don't even know why they did that whole thing where you put a pin in there. I shoved a tack in there, and I mean, like, yeah, kind of roughed up. Speaker looks fine. Here's a general condition of the device. And yes, I need to clip my nails. I need to get around to that. I'm going to probably do that right after this video. There. And I will, of course, be wiping it both data-wise and physically with a wipe because, I mean, you're probably going to wipe it off when you get it anyway. I don't blame you. I wipe off everything I get off online, mostly just for me, not because I think the person having has some sort of venereal disease if they're covering it in. But, uh, yeah, I kind of took it off camera, put it on my mouse pad there. The front camera, I should actually show you that the front camera does indeed work. So let's start the camera from the app. Do, do, do. So, yeah. That is the front camera. Hello, that's my hand there. With my computer monitor and my ceiling. And I don't have the lights on right now because my light reflects off the display. It, reflect, it reflects off all the displays. My Nexus 10, my laptop, my Zoom tablet, which I need to fix. All kinds of stuff. So yeah, if you are interested in buying this, I'd say take the leap, not only because I profit off of it, but because it is, it's a great port. I'm happy with it. I think a lot of people would be happy with it. The device itself is nice. It's a, it's an aged device. This is, I think, mid 2012. Um, oh, the display has like a slight ghosting effect. Like what you're seeing with the font there, that is not the video. That's what it actually looks like. The video is kind of, uh, there's my little doc. The video doc, or... <laughs> The video kind of emphasizes it, but if you get real close to it, you'll see it does slightly ghost, which you can see when you're using it, but once you get used to it, it took me about an hour to get used to it, and I was like, whatever. And that this was a thing on a lot of older displays. But yeah, take the leap, buy it, give me your money, and I will totally help you. Whatever you need, I will help you. Total, I work for you, basically. Even after you buy it, you can... Send me a message on eBay in like four years. I'll be like, Jesus Christ, I still own that. 